It's the time of year where gypsy moth caterpillars are back, but will this year be worse than others? The small insects are starting to pop up across central Massachusetts, and one local expert says they just started hatching within the last few weeks. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with the details. Brittany? Well, Olivia, I have good news. The state's Department of Conservation and Recreation says the number of caterpillars this year will be down, and it's all thanks to a virus and fungus. We've actually drilled holes and then we, we inject that with a systemic material. Gypsy moth caterpillars have returned in central Massachusetts. Bartlett Tree Experts is helping this home in Shrewsbury fight back against the pest. When the, when the caterpillars go to feed on the leaves, they, they die. Um, it's, a, it's a very effective way to, to preserve a tree in a very environmentally sensitive area. Local manager Julian Rees says the hairy insects returned last week and it's keeping the business busy. We are fairly booked out with calls. We're stretched pretty thin and we're, we're doing our best to keep up and, and to help as many people as possible. Nicole Kelleher is a forester for the state's Department of Conservation and Recreation. She says the gypsy moth caterpillars hatch in early May, but the numbers shouldn't be as bad as the past couple of years. In some areas we saw over 90% of the caterpillars die off from the Entomophaga mega fungus and an NPV virus. But 90% uh, if you have 100 million caterpillars and 90% die, you still have 10 million caterpillars. So they still are out there this year. And fewer caterpillars is welcome news to Sam Naloni, especially after last year's infestation. Last year they were everywhere. They're in the trees, in my room for some odd reason. They were just everywhere you step, in my pool. There's no shade anywhere on this whole street. I hope they do not come, and if they do, they go away very, very quickly. Reese says residents have limited time left to protect their trees from the caterpillars. One of the greatest challenges is calling too late and the, the panic that that causes. Once you have the really big, noticeable, hairy caterpillars, it's too late to really treat for it. Even though numbers are down, they are still out in central Massachusetts. I pulled these off of our Andy Lacombe after a baseball game in Boylston. And Olivia, if these were any larger like they will be in a couple weeks, I definitely would not be holding them. <laughs> Poor Andy. Thank you, Brittany.